Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India. Good evening. Welcome to South Asia Newsline. I'm Lipakshi Khurana. Here are the top stories we're tracking for you on Monday, the 20th of January. Three terrorists gunned down in an encounter in India's Jammu and Kashmir. The Taliban's plan on reduction in violence in Afghanistan deceptive, says Sarwar Danish. And rescuers call off search for trekkers after new avalanches in Nepal. And now for all the details, Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi on Monday interacted with students as part of Pariksha Pe Charcha event in capital New Delhi. He shared tips with them to ensure they take the upcoming board and entrance exams in a relaxed manner. Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi on Monday interacted with students as part of Pariksha Pe Charcha event in capital New Delhi. Students from across the country and also Indian students residing abroad participated in the event that saw them seeking guidance on various issues of importance to them from Prime Minister Modi. Prime Minister Modi underlined the importance of the coming decade, saying that the students studying in class 10th and 12th will play an important role in shaping the coming decade. He asked the students to come out of the feeling that success or failure at exams determines everything. परीक्षा के अंक ही जिंदगी नहीं है उसी प्रकार से कोई एक एग्जामिनेशन ये पूरी जिंदगी नहीं है वो एक पड़ाव है सबसे पहले हमने हमारे पूरे जीवन का ये महत्वपूर्ण पड़ाव मानना चाहिए लेकिन यही सब कुछ है ये कभी नहीं मानना चाहिए Prime Minister Modi also stressed on the importance of extracurricular activities for the students, spoke about hackathons, the importance of managing mental pressure during exams and the role of parents. Security forces gunned down three terrorists belonging to Pakistan-based Hezbollah Mujahideen in an encounter in Shopian district of India's Jammu and Kashmir on Monday. Police said the trio had a long record of terror-related crimes. Three terrorists were neutralized in an encounter with security forces in Shopian district of India's Jammu and Kashmir on Monday. The encounter broke out as security forces had launched a cordon and search operation in Wachi area of Shopian district following information about presence of terrorists. Search operations were still underway in the area till the last reports came in. The slain terrorists reportedly belong to Pakistan-based Hezbollah Mujahideen terror outfit. और इन तीनों का जो क्रिमिनल और टेरर क्राइम का जो रिकॉर्ड है काफी बड़ा है इनका जो कमांडर इसमें मारा गया वसीम अहमद वानी ये 2017 से एक्टिव था और अभी इसका जो दर्जा हिजबुल मुजाहिदीन के अंदर उस हलाके के अंदर काफी बड़ा था India blames neighboring Pakistan for arming and aiding terrorists to infiltrate across the border to spread unrest in Kashmir Valley. Pakistan, however, denies the allegations. Moving on, contractual rescue workers in Gilgit, Baltistan, who have been helping people in the difficult times, are themselves struggling for survival as authorities have not paid them their salaries for months now. The workers recently held a protest over their delayed salaries and also demanded job regularization. Contractual workers of the Rescue 1122 Emergency Service in Gilgit, Baltistan recently carried out a protest demanding job regularization and over their delayed salaries. The protesters claimed the authorities in the illegally occupied region have not provided them salaries for months now and they do this every two to three years where they delay the salaries for six to seven months. 
The demonstrators warned they will continue their protest until the authorities give them their dues as they do not have any other option to survive. सबसे पहले तो हमारा सर्विस स्ट्रक्चर का मसला है अभी तक आठ साल हमारे गिरगित प्रसाद में कंप्लीट हो चुके हैं अभी तक सर्विस स्ट्रक्चर हमारा नहीं बन चुका है उसके बाद का जो मसला है हमारा एफडीए का मसला है एफडीए डी का हमारा फिक्स डेली लॉस होता है वो अभी तक आठ साल कंप्लीट हो चुके हैं अभी तक हमें वो नहीं दिया जा रहा है उसके बाद हमारा मुश्किल का मसला है जो सेकेंड बैच है वो उसके चार साल कम्प्लीट हो चुके हैं गांड से द्यामर और गिरगित दुल्जा नगर के चार साल कम्प्लीट हो चुके हैं अभी तक जो है हमें मुस्तकिल नहीं किया जा रहा है Gilgit Baltistan, a part of the erstwhile Jammu and Kashmir province of India, was annexed by Pakistan more than six decades ago. It has been under a corrupt administration since then, and locals have been struggling for even their basic rights. In news from Afghanistan, Afghanistan's second vice president, Sarwar Danish, has said that Taliban's plan to reduce violence is deceptive. The Taliban has said that it is prepared to scale down operations ahead of a peace deal with the United States. The Afghan government has, however, insisted that the group must agree to a ceasefire. Afghanistan's second vice president, Sarwar Danish, reiterating the Afghan government's stance on peace said on Sunday that the Taliban's plan to reduce violence is a way of evading a real peace and it is deceptive. Speaking at a ceremony in Kabul, Danish said, the United States may sign a peace agreement with the Taliban, but it will not solve any problems in Afghanistan. This comes as Taliban spokesperson Suhail Shaheen in a series of tweets last Friday said that the Taliban and US negotiators met in Doha to discuss the signing of a peace deal. He said the talks were useful and would continue for a few days. The Taliban had earlier said it is prepared to scale down operations ahead of signing a deal with the United States. The Afghan government has, however, insisted that the Taliban must agree to a ceasefire. In news from Nepal, rescuers in Nepal called off efforts on Monday to find seven people, including four South Koreans, after fresh avalanches hit the Annapurna region, where the group went missing last week, an official said. The search for seven trackers who went missing in Nepal's northwest Himalayan region after an avalanche hit their trail continued, local officials said on Monday. Rescue team shared images of the operation's efforts to find trackers, four South Korean trackers and their three Nepali guides at an area believed to be where they were last at. The area where the avalanche struck the group is estimated to be about 93.21 miles northwest of Nepali capital Kathmandu, according to the officials. Around 200 people, including tourists, guides, helpers and others who were trapped after the avalanche were rescued and brought to a safer place officials said on Sunday. Mount Arnapurna in northwest Nepal is the world's 10th highest mountain at 8,091 meters and its base camp is popular with thousands of trekkers who visit annually. Deputy Speaker of Nepal's Lower House of Parliament, Shiva Maya Tumba Hangfei, on Monday resigned from her post, making way for the appointment of a new speaker. The latest development came a day after the ruling Nepal Communist Party nominated Agni Prasad Sapkota for the post of speaker for the House. Deputy Speaker of Nepal's Lower House of Parliament, Shiva Maya Tumba Hangfei, resigned from her post on Monday a day after the ruling Nepal Communist Party nominated Standing Committee member Agni Prasad Sapkota for the post of Speaker for the House. Thumba Hangfei, who had also staked her claim to the Speaker's post, handed over her resignation to the Parliament Secretariat. This came after her Nepal Communist Party or NCP requested her to step down and make way for the appointment of the new Speaker. The decision by the NCP has ended nearly four months long dispute between the party's former UML and former Maoist factions, each of which claimed the position. Pratnidhi Sabha ma bhoomat prapta dalli aafna tarfwaata netrita ko dawa gari ko abastha. Hamar prachalit sammaidani kra kanuni abastha ka adhaar ma tiaslai karinan ko laghi maile shahji karan garnu abasik bhai ko chha. Yeshe ili यसै अनुसार मैले मार्ग प्रशस्त गर्ने निष्कर्षमा पुगेको बेहोरा सम्मानित सदन समक्ष निवेदन गर्न चाहन्छु 
The position of Speaker has been vacant since the first week of October, following the resignation of Krishna Bahadur Mahara, who has been accused of attempt to rape and is currently in jail for investigation. Reports suggested all the parties have agreed to hold the elections for both the Speaker and Deputy Speaker on January 26. Bangladesh Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina in a first ever response to the past of India's new citizenship law last year said that it was not necessary. She however maintained that it is India's internal matter. Prime Minister of Bangladesh Sheikh Hasina has said that India's new citizenship law, the Citizenship Amendment Act, that aims to give rights to minority communities of Bangladesh, Afghanistan and Pakistan, was not necessary. In an interview to Gulf News in Abu Dhabi where she held high-level meetings, Hasina said that Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi had personally assured her that National Register of Citizens was an internal matter of India that would not affect her people. The Bangladeshi Prime Minister, however, maintained that Citizenship Amendment Act is India's internal matter. The statement is the first by Hasina since the controversial law that has triggered protest across India was cleared by the Indian Parliament last December. Subsequently, Bangladesh also cancelled several high-level meetings to India that included the visits of Foreign Minister A.K. Abdul Momin and Interior Minister Asadu Zaman Khan, among others. Citizenship Amendment Act provides a part to Indian citizenship for members of Hindu, Sikh, Buddhist, Jain, Parsi and Christian religious minorities who have allegedly fled persecution from Pakistan, Bangladesh and Afghanistan before December 2014. Origami artist in Western India recently attempted a record of creating a 51 feet long tall art in an effort to generate awareness about the endangered Siasmis crocodile. Over 870 tals were used to create the structure of the species by a team of seven artists. Origami artist in India's western Pune city attempted the record of creating a 51 feet long towel art recently depicting Siamese crocodile. A team of seven artists used over 870 towels to create the structure of the critically endangered species in three hours. According to the organizers, the towel art was made to generate awareness about the crocodiles that were on the verge of extinction and also create the biggest art imitating the reptile till date. We have created a towel art which is called towel origami. We have created a crocodile shape out of it and with this, in this we are also attempting a India book of record. We have created a 51 feet uh, Siamese crocodile and uh, we have used 870 towels. We have taken seven people to build uh, in three hours of time. Origami is the art of paper folding, which is often associated with Japanese culture. In modern usage, the word origami is used as an inclusive term for all folding practices, regardless of their culture of origin. Well, that's the way it was in South Asia this evening. Before we conclude, the top stories once again. Three terrorists gunned down in an encounter in India's Jammu and Kashmir. Taliban's plan on reduction in violence in Afghanistan deceptive, says Sarvar Danish. And rescuers call off search for trekkers after new avalanches in Nepal. Now our viewers can watch the show on SouthAsianewsline.com. You can also visit us on Facebook.com slash Newsline and follow us on Twitter at Newsline. That's all in tonight's edition. We'll see you same time tomorrow. Good night.